Fly along. Close the throttle. Fly along. Fly along. No. Pull back. Stick in the end. Required. Yeah. Okay. Pull power. Pull power. Okay, so we've just come home to a pretty exciting uh, piece of mail. Uh, it's been sent from Recreational Aviation Australia. Officially issued with a student certificate, so nice. This will look good in the wallet. Welcome to fly day number nine, I believe. Yeah, lesson number nine coming up. Exciting day for us because in our log books, we're officially gonna tick over 10 hours of flight. Yeah, so 10 hours of flying, that's a that's a big achievement. A few months ago, we we had only ever been in a light aircraft once or twice. To, to fly for 10 hours, to have 10 hours against my log book, that's a special day. So excited for today, Murray Ridge, Airfield is, is officially closed as of last Sunday. So we'll be at Rollo's, which you saw last week. Been doing heaps of research and watching a lot of videos on, on landing techniques. So hopefully we can get that better. Uh, but key focus for today, as always, as I said, is, is to try to get calmer and calmer every time we fly. So today, keep it, look, see this face? This is a calm face. Compare that with the next clip when we're in the air. Hopefully it looks the same. If it's more stress, we need to work on it. But now we just want to relax. We want to practice everything that we've been um, We've been taught over the past eight lessons. And yeah, just enjoy it. It's uh, another beautiful day to fly. It looks like it's pretty still, a bit cloudy, but uh, but smooth air, so hopefully smooth air. Let's go flying. Okay, cool, just off some petrol. Something I've been doing is, is practicing the radio calls out aloud, and I find myself making mistakes, so it's really good to practice this. On the way when I'm driving, I was just practicing the call. Rollo's traffic, because we're going to Rollo's airfield. Rollo's traffic, Jabro 5246, entering and backtracking one niner for circuits, traffic Rollo's. That would mean that Rollo's traffic, you're you're addressing um, Rollo's airfield or, or, or the, the common traffic advisory frequency for Rollo's. It would also mean that uh, your aircraft is a Z Jabiru. The tail number is 5246. Then it would mean that you are entering runway one niner and then you're going to backtrack and you're going to take off and your intention then after you take off is circuits. And then you sign off obviously with, with uh, traffic rollers um, to let them know that your message is, is complete. What else do we have? Oh, we have a salsa event this evening, which I'm excited for. I don't usually go to, to too many of those. I actually go to heaps, but I, I should go to more. I want to go to more. Uh, yeah, we got that this evening, which will be which will be fun. That's by the beach. We need to suss it out. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Practice your radio calls in the car on the way to flight training. Just prep yourself even more. So we're always practicing the fly, if we're not in a plane. I think that's that's cool. Just always always practicing the skills that you don't necessarily need to be in a plane to practice. It's good to take those opportunities. Now's one of them. I'll say it again. Let's go flying. Clear, bro. One, two, three, three, two, one. Three, two, five, now, B. Loud, clear. Okay, perfect, so all freshers in the green. We'll probably do a radio check with five, two, four, six, and because he's doing circuits, you can even ask him where he is. If he's turning down, when you're fine. If he's turning base, maybe we won't. Okay, so we, to ask that, we say, um, five, two, four, six. Four, nine, seven, one, radio check. And uh, your position? 46, 4971, radio check. And your position, please? 5246, 4971. We are approximately five miles to the east at 2000. Uh, and reading you five. Zero, five miles east of zero one. 5246, we read you five, 4971. Traffic rollers, Javru 4971. Taxiing runway zero one for circuits. Traffic rollers. Perfect, so fuel pump goes on now. I can't see anybody on base or final. Okay, this is last. a little bit rough here. There are still some soft spots around. Do we go to the right here? Yeah, that was a bit soft there. There we go, hard right. Right, those traffic, Jabro 4971. He's lining up and rolling, zero one. Right, those traffic. Nice up. Right, 
Bus coming up. With an engine failure on takeoff here on this runway. Yeah, the only paddocks are really on the right, the left's okay. not good. Yep. And you want to pitch for airspeed with an engine failure, don't you? 70 knots. 70 knots. Get your left hand up by the throttle. Okay, fuel pump off. 900, fuel pump off. Round we go. Clearing and turning left. Happy Rollo, Discovery 5C46 is joining midfield crossing 01. Rollo. Got a bit of a motorbike track on your side, you've got to keep your nose to the right of that. Okay. They're joining midfield crosswind, so no. Oh, I see them there. Yep. They've just crossed the runway. Um, check the downwind leg. And circuit height's coming up. Okay, nose down. Nose down. Nose down. Power back. Power back. Down we go. Follow right, traffic. Jabro 4971, turning downwind 01, traffic rollers. Doesn't pay to get too uh, low or wide here because we want to be able to get back to the runway if we have an issue. There's no no good paddocks on this side, really. Yeah, that windsock is almost favouring, almost right across 3 0. Cross strip's pretty good, it's a little bit soft down this end. Rollers traffic, Jabro 4971, it's turning base 01 for a touch and go. Traffic rollers. Fair way out, so let's crab in a fair bit. We're on a bit okay. of a bit of a long final here. Yep. Seventy knots. Yep. Seven hundred feet per minute. Hundred. Check final. I'd end up doing a practice go around here anyway, by the looks of things. Yeah. Okay, I haven't done one of those before. Lalo traffic, Cabaret 5246 is back tracking zero one. So hang up. Lalo can be hit off. Can't be hit away. Now there is a crosswind. If we were going to land, we'd be now transitioning to uh, holding your wing down. But what I want you to do now is um, power it up. Power it up. Yep. Rollo, Jabiru 4971 is going round on the zero 01. We'll be uh, changing circuit direction to 30. Your aircraft. My aircraft. We're going to do a normal circuit till we get to the end of downwind, and then we're going to say that we're actually now joining uh, downwind for uh, the 30. So as you go left, um, you just say something like, um, Traffic Rollos, Jabiru 4971 is now joining uh, downwind for runway 30. We're changing circuit direction to 30, Traffic Rollos. How's your trim? Pardon? How's your trim if you let the stick go? Uh, needs to go forward. Usually when you're hanging on a bit tight. Yep. We're a little bit close here, so rolling out. Got to give yourself a base leg. Yep. You alright? Be alright. Gentle turn to the left. Uh, have a little bit of power, not too much. Rv8 going away. So you look a bit nose left and right wing down to me. Okay. So a little bit of right rudder. Come back to idle. Keep flying. Okay, taking off. Yeah, taking off. Full power. Full power. Full power. There's some smoke over there to tell the wind direction. Okay, rolling out. Birds. Right left traffic, Jabro 4971 is turning downwind, runway 30, traffic rollers. When you think you're going past the end of the runway, pull out the carby heat and reduce the power. Right left traffic, Jabro 4971 is turning base, runway 30 for a touch and go, traffic rollers. Perfect, perfect call. Quite nice smooth day too, isn't it? It's not bumpy. Yeah. Usually when it's overcast like this and cold, it's just usually pretty smooth. hot summer's day, but the afternoons get rough. We had a couple of thermals last week, I remember that. Oh, they get big in summer. Okay, looking forward to it. <laughs> We're at 1,000 feet, 70 knots, 700 feet per minute. Here we go, finals clear. A little tiny crosswind from your side. Just hold a little tiny bit of left wing down, a lot of right rudder to straighten up. A little, bit, a little bit stinky there, yeah. Okay, keep committing yourself down there. Bring your nose to the right, keep coming down. Look at the end of the runway, and don't land. You gotta fly along, get rid of the power. Back to idle. Back to idle. Keep that front wheel up. Okay, taking off. Full power. Full power. Clear the air, around we go. Fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. Clear in the air. Turning left. Rollo traffic. Jabro 4971. Turning downwind runway 30. Traffic rollos. Good call. 
Fish are hot. Kill pump on. Kill some fishing for a go around a missed approach. Uh, T's and P's in the green. Brakes are off. Hatches and harnesses are secure. And wind direction still favorable for 3 0. Roll those traffic. Jabro 4971. Turning base, runway 30 for a touch and go. Traffic roller. If you're doing the same thing here, you seem, seem to come around too far with the nose. Probably because of where you're sitting, you, you think with your, your stripe, you need yeah. to have the nose more my way. So right run, runner. Cover heat off. Puppy heat's away. It's looking straight in there. Yeah, okay, that feels straight out. I think it is wet from where I'm sitting. Yeah, fly along. Close the throttle, fly along. Fly along, no. Ouch! All back, stick in the end, required. Yeah, yeah okay. Full power, full okay. power. Needed, needed more back stick there for sure. Yep. Yeah, in the end he didn't finish it off. Yeah. Uh, traffic roll off, uh, Jabiru 4 that that minor is entering and back tracking uh, 1 nine or 4 3 0. Yeah, traffic uh, roll off, Jabiru 4 9 or 7 minus departing and downwind runway 3 0 for Ramari Bridge Township. So when you're departing, you extend the, the leg of the circuit that's going mostly in the direction you want to go in. So there's 1,700, that'll do. You say where you're going and the height you're going to. I was really coming over to show, show you what the, what's happening down there as well. See the crosses there for closed runway? Lots of crosses. I stuck a heat a bit on the grass too because gliders in the past have been quite uh, used to lining on the grass there. So. I know you haven't done too much like this, but if you were going to do an impact call, what do you think it might sound like? Roll those traffic, Jamaroo 4971 is two miles to the north. Well, no, we're actually east. Okay, east. East, um, east, southeast, maybe. And you say your height that you're at, don't you? Yeah, your position is, is, is five miles east, um, southeast, 1,700, that's your position. And okay. Then the next word is inbound. Okay, then the next word's inbound and then ETA. Yeah, time yeah. to the circuit. Estimated time. And it's, it can just be an estimate. Um, a mile a minute is, it means you're only doing 60 knots. If you're doing two miles a minute, it means you're doing 120 knots, so you've got a good tailwind. Sure. Roll those traffic. Demo 4971, five miles to the east, in 1,700, inbound, estimated time, three minutes. Roll those traffic. Good. Oh, almost missed a couple of things in there. We'll go back to the, the dead or the inactive side of 3-0 and we'll join crosswind for midfield crosswind for 3-0. The dead side of 3-0 is going to be that side. This side? I have 3-0. Not a bad day for us. Yeah, it's super smooth. I can, I can definitely feel the difference between the 160 and the 170 wing, like big time. Yeah, especially in that last little uh, flare and hold off. Yeah. Well, that, doesn't, yeah, that does, one does, doesn't fly like the 170. And you notice that even more in the hot air, thin air, loses the climb performance. They're making a mess, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it'd be good. We'll be able to, we'll be able to look at the, uh, the progress over the over the coming weeks from up here. Yeah. Roll those traffic. February 4971. Joining midfield crosswind, runway 30. Traffic rollers. Near final. And around we go. Touch high, but we've been getting a bit of sink on late final anyway, haven't we? So we yeah. can see how we go. Look at the end of the runway. Come back to idle. Taking off. Full power. Nose up. A little bit wobbly on the ground too, that's why you probably feel like I'm taking over too much, but I know how soft it was yesterday, it still hasn't dried out completely too. Yeah. Roll those traffic, Jabiru 4971, turning base, runway 30, for a touch and go. Traffic roll those. I think Rollo would come down and cut those trees down, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think we can make this one a full stop. Yeah, I agree. Roll those traffic, Jabiru 4971, turning base of runway 30 for a full stop. Traffic rollers. That tractor on the main runway hasn't moved, so it's on the right hand side. Yeah, slowly rolling the throttle closed. Back to 
Auto. I can feel it's soft. Yeah. The whole thing's very soft, isn't it? Yep. Oh, they've had a huge amount of rain. You should have seen what it was like yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, big pools of water everywhere. Rollo traffic. Yeah, we're 4971, clear of all runways. Hello, traffic. Thanks, Mike. No worries. Oh, it's hard work doing an hour of circuits, but... Oh, big time. Mm. <laughs> and in the 160 as well, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as much float. What's going on? So we're officially done with our 10th hour of flying. Uh, lesson number nine, it was awesome. Lots of circuits today at the, at the new airfield rollos, which was great. I felt a little bit more relaxed today. Like I said I said before the flight, like I was trying to stay calm, trying to practice the things that, uh, that we've been taught. In saying that, there was some shaky, some shaky landings in there, but uh, we're in the Jabiru 160, um, opposed to the 170. So it's a smaller wing, so it's not as floaty. Um, and it's a little bit more, I find it a little bit more difficult to fly. Overall, fantastic day. Getting more confident in, in managing myself uh, around the circuit and, and, and remembering what to look out for, being very aware of your surroundings. Oh, biggest takeaway from today is that it's not over even when you're on the ground. When you fly an aircraft, you think landing, you get on the ground and it's all good. You're not. The runway was really soft. I was feeling the wheels dig in and the nose was kicking to one side. It was all happening today. Um, heart rate was a million miles an hour, but another week done. Uh, beautiful day. It turned out to be the smoothest air, just, just extraordinary. And we saw, we flew over Murray Bridge and we saw the earthworks that were going on because they're resurfacing it. and and laying down tarmac, so um, my flight instructor's actually going there now to have a look, and I'm gonna go with him. You saw it from the air, now you're gonna see it from the ground. All right, so we're back at Murray Bridge. The runway is completely overhauled, um, so it's completely gone, which is good. Looks like they're re-leveling everything. They're laying down tarmac, so it'll be a hard surface runway. It was cool to come here and check it out. It, it definitely looks a lot uh, cleaner from the air, and now we're down here, it's like, oh, there's a lot of work going on. Starving. Flying makes you hungry. Have my Chobani mango yogurt here. So going to eat this. Ooh, love these ones. You mix the mango in at the bottom. These are delicious. I'm gonna eat something there and then we're gonna go dance some salsa. 10 hours of flying done. Big achievement. Deserves, deserves yogurt. The dream is to be eating yogurt and granola preferably in a plane. I don't know if life can get better than that. Let's go for a bit of walk here. So holding point tiles. See the yellow lines, I'll paint it on here. Anyway, it was cool to come check this out. Um, can't wait to see what it looks like in, in a couple of months when it's finished. Till then, let's keep flying. Catch you at home. Oh, and look at that, like magic, back home. How good's this? Came home, opened the door. First thing I smelt was that lovely, Lovely slow cooker action, just smells incredible. How's that for efficiency, by the way? Just flying a plane and at the same time cooking, because this is just sitting on the stove, on the on the bench top cooking. I really want to show you this because I'm probably not going to show it in the video, uh, but I don't want to lift the lid because it's. You know what? We'll lift the lid. We're lifting the lid. It's happening. Here it is. It's a snake. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that didn't go to plan at all. Anyway. We haven't had lunch. That's gonna take a while to cook. Another three hours, so. We actually don't have a here. Oh, we've, got, we've got some chicken fried rice, but we're not gonna get into that. We're gonna have oats for lunch, and that is more than acceptable. That's definitely acceptable. Should we have another fruit smoothie? We have already had one this morning. It's now raining at home, but have a look at this. That is elite. Beautiful post-flight meal. Actually, that's a new thing. 
no longer post workout meals, it's now post flight meals. The reason I'm outside in the rain here is because my roommate is indoors blasting Stormzy music videos. It doesn't really match this vibe. The flight today was, at times, there's a lot to, a lot to manage. It felt a bit hectic, but I felt a lot more relaxed than usual, as I said before, so I think everything's starting to slow down now. First got introduced to circuits, so were all the radio calls, all the maneuvers, you had to maintain awareness for the other aircraft. Everything, it was a bit overwhelming, so time just went really fast and I felt so rushed. Now it's a little bit better, I think because I've done it so many times now. When I say so many times, not too many, but uh, enough to for everything to slow down slightly. It's about getting more comfortable, relaxing, and yeah, making sure that, that uh, we put what we're being taught into practice uh, and we relax and we make good decisions. So eating oats in the rain, good decision. First 10 hours of our flying journey, definitely feeling a lot more confident with the flying, especially today in the 160 with the shorter wing. Smaller wing, it's not as floaty as we were talking about in the ground effect. So when you're coming closer to the ground to land, there's that buffer of air. It's not as, it's not as pronounced. So you can tell with the 170, the one we usually fly, as you come low to the ground, is that buffer of air that builds up uh, and, and you enter what's called the ground effect. It's like the aircraft balloons a lot and you can feel it. You can actually feel your aircraft enter into it. Memory card just ran out of battery and I'm glad because I was, I was in the rain there just getting into, into aerodynamics and, and ground effect, which we could talk for, for hours about. But yeah, uh, a different experience today in the, in the 160. It was brilliant. Can we say we're a pilot yet? No, I don't think we can, can we? Uh, not until we get our license, that's when we're a pilot, but we're a, we're a student pilot. But yeah, 10 hours of flying, super happy with that. Uh, can't wait to do more. And um, yeah, it's just the start of our journey. Can't wait for next week. See you in the air.